Hello and welcome to The Crypto Lifestyle, where we focus on decentralization, mass adoption, and other Bitcoin related stuff to bank us coin. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the London hard fork that happened on the Ethereum blockchain this past week. This was a monumental event for Ethereum as it totally changed the fee structure of transactions as now a part of every single transaction fee some Ethereum coin is actually burned meaning Ethereum is now a deflationary asset which is huge. So in this video we're going to be talking about what this means and what comes now afterwards after this update. So if this does interest you then be sure to stick with me until the very end of this video and if you are new to the crypto lifestyle and you don't know who I am yet my name is Connor I do have my own channel called Crypto Empire if you want to check it out there's a link down in the description below but I'm stepping in today for Francis Mr 100x the trendsetter shout out to Francis shout out to team TCL hashtag BHB you guys are awesome so if you are new to the crypto lifestyle be sure to subscribe to the channel comment down below like this video and turn on all bell notifications so you don't miss any future videos without further ado let's get right into it Woo <laughs> crypto lifestyle baby so the ethereum network upgrade also known as the london hard fork just went live this past thursday august 5th and like i did mention this changed the fee structure so now a part of every single transaction some of the fee is actually burned so we can actually take a look at the real time burning since this event actually did happen this is called watchtheburn.com and it gives you the live price feed or the live number of Ethereum that's actually been burned. And we can see 11,841 Ether have already been burned so far. So that's actually quite a bit of money. We can type that in to Uniswap, 11,841 now, and see how much money that is. So we're talking about 37.078 million dollars about 37 million dollars of ethereum has been burned so far 11.8k ether so that is pretty significant and this number is only going to be going up over time and basically ethereum as of right now uh, doesn't have a cap supply so this is going to offset the inflation of the ether tokens in the network ether coins i should say so this is a pretty big event and some are comparing it to the bitcoin halving Right? We all know that Bitcoin has every four years its block size. So that usually spurs or does spur from all the previous market cycles, a huge bull cycle that does follow afterwards. So it's gonna be interesting to see here what happens with Ethereum. Is this going to be the catalyst for the next leg of the bull run? I hope so, that would be awesome for my bags. And if it's gonna be awesome for your bags, let me know down in the comments below. I wanna know what's in your bag. Moving on though, what is EIP-1559? So it aims to make Ethereum's transaction fees less volatile and more predictable, removing the problem of people overpaying for transactions. It also helps to reduce uncertainty for users who don't know if a transaction will be approved as a result of their gas prices being set below an acceptable expected rate. That's happened to me plenty of times when a transaction fails for a Uniswap transaction. It's the most frustrating thing ever because you still paid the ether to pay for the transaction fee, but it just uh, doesn't go through. So it's very frustrating when that does happen. And this is aiming to fix that. So EIP 1559 will not only help speed up wait times for a transaction, but it will also enable a more seamless experience for Ethereum's global community and its layers of dApps. So how exactly does this upgrade work? The Ethereum improvement proposal is based around two core elements. The first is the base fee a minimum gas price required for transactions, and a new method of regulating transaction fees which will rise when the market is busy and fall when it is quiet. The difference between the current system and this new version is that miners won't set the rates. Because before we had miners setting some rates, they can front run some transactions, they could play their little minor games, and they could profit from arbitrages. So this is going to help prevent that. The network does use an algorithm, creating more consistency across the Ethereum ecosystem. Also, miners will not receive transaction fees. Instead, they will be burned, which is what we just looked at, which reduces the supply of Ethereum and prevents any deliberate congestion of the network. So very exciting times for Ethereum. Now, what happens next? So EIP-1559 is designed to reduce volatility with gas prices, but it doesn't guarantee cheaper rates because Ethereum can still only handle a limited number of transactions at a time. Under EIP-1559, base fees on the minimum standard can only increase and decrease by 
to 5x each block, allowing for greater stability and predictability for Ethereum transactions. So this is very important because it's going to allow people that use the Ethereum network, which is pretty much everybody who owns cryptocurrency, to have less uncertainty around the gas fees of using DeFi protocols, decentralized applications. So there are there's a lot of competition right now in the cryptocurrency space. Right? We have this article mentions Polkadot, Solana, Definity. The list goes on and on really. We can look at coin market cap, right? There's also Cardano, BNB. We mentioned Polkadot, Solana, ICP, Polygon, Theta, right? There are a lot of smart contract blockchains. We have Tron, we have EOS, Cosmos, Neo, right? Although it's kind of a ghost chain. Anyway, we have Avalanche, Algorand. The list goes on and on for Ethereum competitors. And definitely Polkadot, Kusama are going to be at the top, right? We have Polkadot number nine. But regardless, this is saying that this is going to clear up a lot of the uncertainty around these other networks, saying that they're going to be more scalable than Ethereum and have cheaper transaction fees, etc. EIP-1559 is combating this FUD with this network upgrade. So it also counteracts Ethereum's increasing supply, like I did say. So we all know Bitcoin is 21 million coins in circulation. There's never going to be any more, or not in circulation, but that can ever be minted. There will never be more than 21 million. So now Ethereum will be burning a part of every single transaction. So it will remove coins from circulation after new ones are issued, nullifying the increased supply of Ethereum without introducing a supply cap. So there's still going to be in unlimited supply of ETH. However, this is going to offset the inflation, this network upgrade. So now this is all amazing. However, Ethereum is still a proof of work network and it will be shifting to proof of stake fully when Ethereum 2.0 does launch, which is estimated to be in early 2022. So Ethereum will still be limited to its current capacity until Ethereum 2.0. And we can read right here, one thing EIP-1559 doesn't do is change the fact that Ethereum still in its current form. Like I said, Ethereum can only handle a limited number of transactions at a time. The network scalability has long been a focus for Vitalik, and it's something that the upcoming Ethereum 2.0 upgrade aims to address. So like I said, it's going to shift from proof of work to proof of stake, and it will also enable the network to scale from 30 transactions per second up to 100,000 transactions per second by implementing the sharding. So what sharding is, it means that one blockchain can be split up into an infinite number of side chains called shards, which greatly helps to scale the network, as we can see, would boost the transactions per second from 30 to 100,000, which is quite the improvement if I do say so myself. So EIP-1559 will continue to have an impact after Ethereum completes the switch over to proof of stake. That's because its biggest contribution largely affects how fees are determined on Ethereum, not the network scalability in terms of the number of transactions it can manage. So Ethereum has been taking off recently. It's currently at $3,124. At the time of a network upgrade, it, it was around $2,700 to $2,800. So we are seeing prices increase rapidly, and it really does feel like all of the hype, all of the FOMO, it's now back in cryptocurrency. So it's going to be really exciting to see how things do shape up as we close out 2021 and head into 2022 for Ethereum and obviously the whole entire cryptocurrency market. And then we have Ethereum 2.0 launching in early 2022. So the roadmap is stacked. Decentralized applications are continued to being built on Ethereum. Ethereum does have the first mover advantage when it comes to smart contract platforms. So we love to see the network upgrades. It is very bullish for ETH. Usually this would cause a retail FOMO event where we have a bunch of novice retail investors buying in anticipation of this event and we have large whales selling into the retail buying. But we didn't really see that happen this time around with this event. So I want to hear from you now. Are you expecting a sell off on Ethereum anytime soon or do you think that prices will be blowing past the all time high of $4,356 to new highs? Let me know down in the comments below. So the Ethereum network upgrade, the London hard fork, also known as EIP-1559, 
did happen this past week. Ethereum is now being burned as a part of every single transaction. There's already been over 11,000 Ethereum burned. So this is offsetting the unlimited supply of Ethereum with this deflationary aspect. So it was a huge network upgrade. And now we have Ethereum 2.0 right around the corner. So Ethereum is constantly innovating. They are improving their network because they know, quite frankly, there is a lot of competition out there. So if you don't adapt, if you don't get better, then you will be left behind. I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you let me know by smashing the like button down below. And if you are new to the crypto lifestyle, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on all bell notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from the crypto lifestyle. And at this point in time, there really isn't anything left to say other than until the next video, your ass is on your own, brah. Later.